Hey guys, I'm Cyber13. Welcome to another Minecraft mod review. And today we are doing the Bibliocraft mod, and this is probably one of my all time favorites. Um, just because of all the furniture it adds in. There's pretty much two pages of furniture, um, from different seat backs to like typesetting tables, like potion shelves and cases. Um, over here, I've set up a little area. Um, and uh, this is not even close to all of them. It just shows um, a couple of the variations of them. You can see, I'm going to go through the pretty much different crafting recipes, and then we're going to get to uh, sort of what they look like. And um, so, right, the first one we're doing is the armor stand, which um, allows you to just pretty much um, put armor. This is over here where my mouse is. This is where your armor is, but you can put any armor on this armor stand, which is really cool. Right? So, and it's crafted like this. Two iron, three stone slabs. Alright, so the next is the bookcase. And the bookcase is used for exactly what you might think. Um, storing your precious written books. It does actually have to be written books. Um, as you can see, it looks really nice there. I believe you can. You can't put items in it. It kind of stinks. Um, and all the books look different. Uh, hmm. Hold on. Oh yeah. Don't ask. I like dinosaurs. So go watch my dinosaur mod review. Um today. This is really annoying during a mod review. Right, so we've done the bookcase. Right, the next we have is the oak shelf, which is three wooden slabs and one well three on top three on the bottom and then in the middle there is the oak wood planks and you might have seen me use some of bibliocraft in my modded survival you should go check that out too because it's awesome um... and they look like um... Th these are the shelves you can put anything in them even a desk which i don't understand um yeah, so then there's also these lamps which are uh two glass, one glowstone, two gold ingots, and two gold nuggets. Alright, um and that is what this is. Um I believe if you give this a redstone signal Uh, nah, um, I, I think they're just on, and then all right. So then we have the golden lantern. Uh, sounds really cool. Which is this? Um, two gold ingots, a torch, two glowstone dust, and four glass panes. And that's what that looks like. This is the mangrove bookcase. It just looks amazing once you put put them all together. This is the potion shelf, which is um, crafted like so. One glass bottle in the middle, then on either side, wooden planks, and on the top and bottom, three wooden slabs. Um, now, there is part of this mod which uh, does not work at the moment. The typesetting table and the printing press. Uh, that is because they it's still a work in progress and uh... yeah so i'm not going to go over all the crafting recipes because there's just so many um... here's the case just tr um... planks wool in the middle and a glass on the top that's for the case but there's also this amazing dinner plate which you shift right click and you can put food in there i put um... steak and chips in there from food plus which is another amazing mod um, 
There's this disc rack, which is amazing. I've put some discs in here. You can see you can see them there. Looks nice. The cookie jar, which I am going to tell you how to craft. It's one cookie in the middle, and then on top an iron ingot, on the bottom one redstone, and two I mean four glass panes. And you get yourself a nice cookie jar. And you can just put cookies in there and it shows and they show up. Alright, uh so we go under the armor stand is the monocle and it absolutely does nothing all it is is four gold nuggets and one glass pane and it looks pretty cool these are the tinted glasses which you just get a gray dye and reading glasses which I will show you to craft in a sec and these look pretty cool but I already have sunglasses so I'm not gonna bother Um, right, then, let's go with the reading glasses. This is what they look like, and it looks really stupid with my glasses. Um, so if we go um, here, it's just two black dye, um, then two glass panes and one ironing it, and you have yourself some reading glasses. Hmm. Um, I'm not sure, but I think these just increase your render distance by a bit, uh, which is quite cool. And uh typesetting table, as I said, doesn't do anything at the moment. That's the typesetting table. Uh printing press doesn't do anything either. And these are the tables. Uh here are some chairs. Uh let me just quickly show you how to craft a table. It's just like that. And these is just a seat, two sticks pressure plate, a slab, and one wall. You can just go in and find yourself um, these amazing seat backs. Like, look, I can be like an evil overlord. And why did you fail, number two? Um, these are the tool racks. Which are amazing. You just right click on them. I put a screw gun in here. I got a fishing rod. Over here I got chisels, you know, hammer tons of stuff and there's also these drafting compass which you need for the type same thing spruce desk has some storage um not much though you can't put anything like big there you can't really put anything on the inside either but yeah uh there's one more thing i need to show you and that's this the oak case which i just like these you have to shift right click them you just right click whatever inside See, um, which doesn't make sense though, because I put that in there. Uh, you can put anything in there. Like, I even I can go pretty much and take a Boeing 707 and uh, go over here to my case and just uh, kind of pop a Boeing 707 there. It looks really nice. So that's the Bibliocraft Spotlight for today, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I hope you all do decide to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Um, just for modded survival, pretty much, and for anything just other than that. Yeah. So, see you later, guys.